off your dogs before I release my lions, Senator Abu tells those who want to suspend him from APC. The senator representing Adamawa North Senatorial District, Senator Ishaku Abo, has sent a message to those who want to suspend him from the All Progressives Congress in his state, Adamawa. The outspoken politician is one of the Northern APC Christians who are against the Muslim Muslim ticket adopted by the ruling party in the country. He alleged that there is a former governor who ferried people from Yola to suspend him because of his stand against unpopular, insensitive and unjust political misadventure. He said, how do they know they want to rule a country like Nigeria and cannot tolerate divergent views or gag people you stole their rightful place? He said he is not a second class citizen of the country and added that they should call off their dogs before releasing his own lions. He also said that he is not a second class citizen of the country, adding that they should call off their dogs before he releases his lions. The recent post by the federal lawmaker has generated a lot of reactions from his fans and numerous followers on the social media platform. So in his words, he says, My brother, you don't have to ferry people to Yola to suspend me from APC because on my stand against unpopular, insensitive, divisive and unjust political misadventure. Go and do it in Nubi. How can you want to rule a country like Nigeria and cannot tolerate divergent views? How can you gag people you stole their rightful place? Nigeria is bigger than than where you were a governor four years ago. Call off your dogs before I release my lions. We are not second-class citizens in our own country. See ya. Okay. So, I mean, he says, I mean, the title, of course, says, Senator Abo tells those who want to suspend him from APC. Now, first of all, I mean, he's given his stance, right? And so, it, it, whatever it is, fact is, if APC is not for you, just, just you know, just go. Because... It, it it wouldn't look right for you to be in a party and you have such strong views against this leadership. Well, hence why, you know, a lot of your colleagues, they didn't wait to be suspended. They left. But it seems like you still want to stay in the party. And staying in the party is something that is good for, that, I mean, is of priority for this man. And so he's decided that he's not going to leave. But then what would happen if you speak against the Muslim Muslim ticket and nothing happens? Because you being in the party shows that you are in support of the Muslim Muslim ticket. So you may do all your due diligence by speaking against it, do all that great. But if you don't leave, or if you stay and you ma- and you manage to convince the leadership otherwise, then it's okay. But then if you're still staying there, you're, you remaining in the party shows that you comply, that you agree, that you are in support. Because there is no way you're going to appear to the world that you are part of apc but by the way this part i don't endorse like it it just would not work you would be assumed to have just given full support so senator abo you said the truth the truth is bitter nigerian governments detest the truth nigerians have no regard for them because they because they choose what to do okay well we thought this man has stopped the habit of hooliganism the same man that beat a lady mercilessly is threatening to release his alliance. <laughs> Abo, you don't even have a goat. Talk less of carnivores. Well, I mean, obviously, we now learn that this is the same person who beat a woman mercilessly because she was in a uh, a toy shop, a, you know, a sex toy shop. And obviously, that did not go well for the way he looks. Um, well, Abba... Or Abo, you are known for insulting and fighting women. Try a man and you are finished.
coward. Okay. Well, Abo is lawless, a man without morals, and who does not fear God. All right. I mean, at the end of the day, I think he, from his statement, he sort of appears or sort of shows himself to be one with authority and who can do whatever he wants. I mean, when you make, when you say a statement like "call off your dogs before I release my lions," what you're basically trying to say is that, you know, you have the capacity to win any fight and basically just saying don't try me don't fight me that's the meaning it's giving but it's it's weird because now looking at how you are perceived the respect isn't there you've been seen to beat up women and i think that in itself has ruined any chance of you trying to gain respect from people so it the 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 likelihood of you being taken seriously is yeah doesn't doesn't match a house divided against itself cannot stand. How can a house full of dogs and lions want to continue to rule a kingdom blessed with doves? You see what you're saying? Okay. Well, he should have been allowed to go to jail during his molestation saga so you wouldn't have this. However, we can still dig his file out from the archive. Well, I mean, I mean to be honest, for every politician in Nigeria, like... Obviously, with his case, he deserves to go to prison or get tried. But I'm just saying, is like it's so the kind of the quality of leaders that we have is just so bad that for each and every person, you could probably dig deep and find, you know, some case against them. Even though it's hidden, but in this case, I mean, I mean you beat up a woman and everyone knows about it, so it, there's no help there. To be honest, well, empty threats, please. <laughs> The political dogs and lions have started barking and roaring at each other and we can see them on our TV sets, okay? Well, these are empty threats anyway, please. We cannot forget his story so soon. He is indisciplined and ruthless, a public disgrace, so I am not surprised at his behavior right now. And don't take him seriously, he has lost his irrelevance. Well, what a shame, right? And to think that in his... Oh, on his post, he typed in all capital letters. I mean, it was literally like going after it. So this sort of shows a lack of maturity in the way he he decides to put out his messages, and that's not a good look. Well, put what you think about it in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.